Who else? Oh, you, 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 you. You're very suspicious. Hello? That guy? Thank you. Poof! <laughs>
about that. I'm definitely going to work on getting that relationship up as well, and you know, eventually with this ink link stuff as well. But uh, at the moment, I'm pretty sure we don't really have much of any challenges. It's going to be two days before a market update, so maybe we get some out there. But yeah, so I mean, the plane doesn't quite work at these prices, unfortunately. Scooter engine, not too bad, but it's only 362 bucks, and I feel it's not too complex of a product. Trample car? I do kind of like that, I'll have to say. It does sound kind of cool, a trample car, doesn't it? Let's plan that. I mean, honestly, that sounds like a nice, cool little product. We will, as always, go for the Advanced Foundry because we can save money on that, as we found out in the last few episodes. For the target, we've got 17 durability. We've got 27 style. So probably further away from the style and from the durability. I'll be right back. All right, back I am. So I'm going to pick this one, I feel, just for the style factor, just to get us closer to that for the time being. Then we've got this whole thing. Oh, which needs to be painted. I like that. This seems to be doable for me. This stuff, not as much, which is due to this being kind of a mix of style and durability, it seems. So we're going to pick that. We are in the target for durability. We're not inside the target scope for the style. Now, the thing is, that, that is not going to work in all the way that I did that, which is kind of annoying. I mean, it seems as though with the biological pellets, or I could do this. I mean, that's kind of the question, right? Let's. Let's kind of see maybe what costs us more, and then we can kind of change the initial things right here depending on what we need. So we're at 90 right now. If we do this, we're at 102. If we do this, we're at 114. Okay, so I would do this here. That gives us more strength than we need, less style than we need. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to change this to the more stylish but less strong chassis. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to be our little trample car. Really like that. We haven't done something in red in a while. So let's do that because we have done this turquoise thing now with the snowmobile. And we have, of course, chosen these plastic pallets, which are supposed to be yellow, but still orange. I don't get it. Please let me know why. Um, but we've used those for the F1 Mini car. So let's do that again. And no, wait. And let's start assigning all these different things. And this does seem by now like a super, super easy production. This is intermediate assembly, so that's gonna go right there. And the final assembly then is gonna go down here. But I don't know, is, is it just me? Or, or have all these things seemingly become so much easier now for like, I don't know, everything? Like, just, just the amount of stuff I've got to link in the medium products seem, seems so little to me. I don't quite get it. I feel it's probably just because the advanced products are so complex that this now kind of feels easy. Or I've just maybe picked a particularly easy to make product. I don't know. That said, let's get this up to 20. And batched, execute, there we go. A thing that I've just kind of noticed... And I don't quite like, I feel we are getting low on machines out here for plastic production. And we've got a bunch of space out here, so I feel we should just invest in a bit more machinery, actually. Now, the question being, we are 28k, so that's not too much of a capital buffer. But I kind of feel I still want to go for it right now. I, I don't think we're going to be doing too badly, and we can always pre-deliver, like early deliver some things, so we should be good. So what I want to get going here is I think I am, where is the, not the foam injection machine, I want to get started using, is that out here? Oh, it seems it is. Okay, so I'm going to get another injection press out there, and then we are going to get another foam injection machine, maybe out there to the corner, maybe out here. I think I'm just going to leave a bit of space in case I want to put another one of these down eventually and then what we of course also need is going to be another billboard which I'm just going to place that right here I 
think that is fine. Okay, so let's order it like that. That's going to up our plastic production capabilities by a bunch as well. And speaking of plastic production, how many workers do I actually have with that specialization? Two. I've already got three machines. Why do we only have two? Does that make too much sense? Not to me. Does it make a lot of sense to you? Probably not. So, I feel like I am already ahead of time going to hire another three guys or gals that are going to drop in and transform from mannequins, which I really, I really kind of like this idea behind this game, right? I mean, you all get it, right? Like, it's basically like somebody playing with mannequins on a table. And, you know, moving trucks around, apparently, on it. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But yeah, so I really like this idea with the mannequins coming to life and everything. So that's kind of cool. But, uh, well, just hire another three operators because I feel we're going to specialize in another three in plastic production. I want to keep like one or two that are not specialized in anything. Now, of course, these all need to learn a bit. Except for Reese here. Reese is already going to become a plastic specialist just so we have three at the very least. And we're probably going to promote another two very, very soon. That's it. 16k now. Another 10 minute cars to make, so I hope these guys speed up their production a bit. But look at this, I, I think it's so cool, we're, like we're making F1 mini cars. It just sounds so cool already thinking about it. Now we've of course got this goal down here in the milestones of selling 800 products of any type, which I think is a lot. And I'm not sure we're actually going to keep doing that man stuff all the time because of that. Maybe what we will do is that we'll just do basic products, but we'll just do like batches of 150 and then we'll keep selling them off over a few market phases and that way we can get to that goal a bit quicker. But I'll kind of determine that more towards the end because obviously we've got kind of more difficult challenges in here too with the uh, uh, two ultimate challenges. We do need one more of those and the net worth. So we're going to work on those first, I feel. And if it kind of becomes apparent that we're getting rather close to that and we still need to make a lot a lot of these products then we're probably gonna just you know switch over to easier ones again so we can just mass produce a lot of small stuff pretty much that said we are down at 7k but we also are finishing a lot of these mini cars not enough of them it seems kind of don't like that you know everything is already stashed full of these chassis and everything again so you know it's a bit troubling this little space that we have here still but well doesn't doesn't really feel like we can do much about that at the moment unfortunately so you know we're just gonna have to roll with it 12 done now 13th being made right here and they're making a lot of things at the same time the market phases are actually proceeding nicely now so i do like that why do we have a lot of stuff out here that nobody's actually working way at uh, it feels like there must be something missing, like, oh, yep. Okay, see what the issue is here now? We've got so much more plastic production all of a sudden that now we can't actually catch up with the production. So I think we will be adding that to the billboard and we'll be, you know, linking these two up with that billboard. And we're going to make this an input zone for that billboard too. And... Well, yeah, we're going to move these tasks all over to, wait a second, is that even, do I need to do those? Oh, it seems it's these, no? Yeah, okay, so we're going to move all these over to the billboard real quick, so that we're going to start using both foam injection machines right away, and maybe I should actually look at getting another foam injection and another form press machine. Is it form press? I'm not quite sure what these were called, but it's, it does seem like we, we, yeah, I mean, good thing I bought at least those before running out of money, because holy moly, look at the amount of small rubber wheels we've got going out here, like, even just that, I think that's kind of also what's potentially holding back our minicar production. Because looking at this, we're totally out of wheels out there. Well, not wheels, but tyres. So, gonna get that going a bit more. And probably need another bit of machinery. But as you can see down there, we need to actually sell these minicars off first. Got them pretty close to bankruptcy there. But, you know, now we will hopefully be good with all these entering the truck. Boosh.
Boosh. Boosh. Here's the money. Okay, cool. So back at 21k, which is not too much of a buffer anymore at this point, I'll have to say, you know. It is actually very little of a buffer overall. Uh, just given the overall, like, running expenses that we have. But I will need to get at least another foam injection machine. Not quite sure about these injection presses, but we're gonna get another foam injection machine. Like, definitely, definitely, definitely gonna need that. And other than that, I'm just gonna have to hope that, you know, we'll, we'll be making a few more of these things and actually finishing a few more of these things. Let's see. Let's see about that. That said, this thing is now done. Gonna link that up right there. And should I have gotten another one of these? How much are these? That's just 2.3k. Let's just get it as well. Like, I feel we need all these tools now. We shouldn't cheap out on that too much. Because, like, look at the amount of plastic production we've got going now. And I, I feel it's pretty much the only thing that we're waiting for at the moment. So, like, I mean, look at our woodworking place. Nothing going on out there. It's absolutely mad. That said, not a single one of these are done with final assembly just yet. So I hope that's going to change soon. But we are going to need some more tires for that. So, you know, if we could get that going, that will be very, very awesome indeed now we're making a few of those ties up there so that's great just gonna actually get them in there you know just gonna hopefully start making some money again these presses and everything are very busy a bit too busy it seems that's already hissing away and let's go through the factory again make another repair on kind of not too happy about us being at 9.4k at the moment maybe i should have delayed these investments but then again this stuff is causing such a huge bottleneck. I really don't like it. I kind of feel we do need them. So, I don't know. I don't quite know about that. But, you know, we're going to schedule all this stuff for repairs. So, that will hopefully have it all fixed up nice and fancy soon. And, you know, that way at least we don't have much of any idle operators. Because they'll always have some stuff they can repair if they're not currently working away at some machinery. So, like, this is going to get repaired as well, and that's going to get repaired as well, and that should be good for the time being. Cool. All right, speeding time up again. Let's hope. Yeah, there, there's at least one mini car so far, so let's just hope there's going to be a few more of those popping up soon. And I would actually like to probably get something woodworking-like going again. So the wide drawers seem to be at, at least somewhat of a sweet spot here. We should have all this assigned as well, so I don't feel like it's going to be a huge task or anything. We have got 3.9k of material cost, so we could still afford the mats. Let's just execute that once, so that we can have some other stuff for operators to work on as well. So, you know, we don't just always fully overload the plastic production, because I feel that's probably been part of the issue here as well. That said, three of those mini cars at least done. Let's just go and sell three off then. I mean, I four. Okay, I need to kind of stay afloat for finances, and he's already getting mad again, which is kind of crazy. Given that we were at eight workers working away at that, but it's fine. Get those loaded up. Thank you very much. And we are just slightly in the green again. <laughs> it's uh, it's a very close one right now. It really, 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 really is. I've got to say, it's absolutely mad and cool and awesome how busy this factory has become, though. Nemesis Agent, that's a new one. There's something fishy going on in your factory. We may have one or several spies in our workforce. Oh, boy. Track and catch them before they can start any trouble. Okay, let's let's look around like this, maybe for a second. Just while it's paused, maybe we can see something that sounds a bit suspicious or something. Uh, don't see anybody being suspicious as of yet. Okay, we're gonna have to watch people a bit here. Oh, you maybe? Yep, found him. He was making some weird moves. Just laughing away or something. Oh yeah, you? No, sorry. I heard somebody, like some. Almost sounded like some radio or something. Hmm. That's not okay. Maybe there's normal behavior. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you sometimes read newspapers. 
Who else? Oh, you, 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 you. You're very suspicious. Hello? That guy? Thank you. Poof! <laughs> okay. Who else do we hunt down today? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. He's working away, he's working away. She? Not really, yeah, I think she... No, maybe not. Why are you moving like that then? Shit, here, here, that, there. Got one. Once they get into the break rooms, it's usually rather easy. See, this one as well, they're going to some corner and they're not really doing anything in the break room, so... That's rather obvious, I'll have to say, but... Out here sometimes, you know, like... I don't know. It's not always that obvious. No, if they're working away, I think it is rather obvious, but other than that... Why is one moving faster than the other? Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's picking something up. Okay. You. No? Oh, you. Sorry. I'm sorry, I, I thought he had used something, but it's... That there. Ah. Okay, seems like i got to wait now. Just gonna keep track of the person. Bye! That's another one off the list. Um... Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? You're all making sense. You're all making sense. That looked like... No. Was that the same guy again that I just tried a second ago? It really looked like he was doing something suspicious. Oh, found another one right here. Now I'm just missing one more. Somebody threw some wheels on the floor there. Was that the... Oh yeah, look at this! There's parts all over here. I think these... Uh, espionage dudes. Agents, whatever. Are actually, you know, moving things all over the place. In a way that you wouldn't want to have them moved. Potentially. These all seem to be making sense. I'm just missing one more. Is it you? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm missing one. Who is the one that I'm missing? I'm not hearing any weird radio sounds or anything. It's kind of hard right now. Oh, it's super easy till you're missing that one last dude and it all becomes, you know, big... A big mess with like 40 employees and one spy. Where are you going though? Oh, you're gonna paint, okay. I would say that if you have an energy bar atop of your head, if you've got some emotes going, you're probably not that suspicious. Oh, I heard it. Where? Is it? No. Somebody, somewhere here. Somewhere close to here. Who was it? Her, him, ah. Uh. No. Oh, him, okay. <laughs> At least I knew it was one of the two. Finally, finally caught the spies. Gonna get us a bit more money that way as well. Kind of happy about that. <laughs> okay, so, back to the milestones. So many products still to make, it's kind of mad, isn't it? I feel we're low on employees, are we? Like, as crazy as that maybe is to say, but we don't have enough employees to do all the woodworking and the plastic working, metal working, everything at once, do we? How is that even possible? <laughs> I'm kind of confused. I'm gonna just employ another two workers. I mean, I need to specialize more people anyway, so I suppose that's going to be fine. At least that's what I hope. And that'll hopefully, you know, free us up in all the woodworking stuff as well. But like, oh god, the assembly again. I'm I'm clogging it up because, you know, obviously I'm speeding up things right here. And then this is all backlogging right here. So, I don't know, kind of a few of those harder instances. And we're definitely missing something right here. I'm not sure what that something is, though. I'll have to kind of say, I feel it's got to be this plastic production stuff. It's just the wheels that get instantly picked up, but still we're not actually caught up. That said, I mean, we did have a lot of backlog, probably, just due to us being rather late with kind of catching up to the issue. So, you know, it's probably part of the issue right there. 
Alright, I'm going to deliver these F1 mini cars, and I've got a few more challenges, so that is kind of cool. Just really interested in this hoverboard one. But I think we're probably going to take that on soon. That said, I would like to finish off the mini cars first. And what else are we missing? I'm really not quite sure. Oh, we of course need the wheels for the trample car as well. That makes a bit of sense. Why the snowmobile's not getting assembled? I'm not quite sure, though. Wouldn't quite be too sure as to the reasoning of that. Maybe it's just some intermediary assembly, no? Not too sure. But, got a new, got a new challenge again, did we? Oh yeah, the other one got phased out, now we've got the bicycle. Okay, I mean, I'm just going to finish this thing off first, so. Uh, open market, let's deliver. Make a few bucks at the very least. Just like that. And then we are going to have to go for a new challenge, which I think will be that one that we had right here, the bicycle. Just get the reputation up with bros and biceps a bit. Again, that's always a nice, nice thing. We definitely need that for the milestones. So, I'm kind of wondering as well, no, we didn't get much of any research and development, just one point for improving a client relations. So that is overall not too much. But that said, I think I'm going to end it off right here then. So uh, we're going to head on in the next episode with that contract as well. Maybe I'm even going to start cutting out a bit more of these intermediate sequences when we're waiting for a lot of the production. So let's see about that. But for the time being, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That does always very much help out the channel. And if you're new around here and have not done so yet, also, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below, as well as the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. That said, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you'll have a great Sunday, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.